you know the problem that happens half the time in wanting to be able to do stuff and get things achieved whether it's studying or it's doing your extracurricular or co-curricular activities motivation how do i get my motivation going ah that's one of the toughest things we've been trying to figure out how to get motivated to do stuff what if we were able to do what we wanted what if we were able to achieve what we wanted when we wanted it what if we were able to ensure that we stayed on track and we did what we had to do work wise that'd be great right so where do we get the motivation from to stay on track well one form of motivation comes from being scared right so it comes out of fear where you sit down and say if i don't do this i'm going to get in big trouble and the other form of motivation comes from praise when i and if i do this and if i achieve this everyone's going to say wow you're the bomb this is the most amazing thing ever so those are two ways but that's not a really consistent way to be able to do stuff that's not a really consistent way of where constantly we're looking for either punishment or praise that doesn't make sense so what you need to remember in a, and and keep in mind always is all motivation is inherently internal this is a process that exists within you so you need to be able to make sure that you are able to tap into that internal process all the time so let me walk you through what i want to be able to do to help you today to keep on track when it comes to your motivation that's what we want to be able to cover you need to be able to write down what your goal is what do you want to achieve what is it that it's going to look like right um it could be anything it could be the best improvement in mathematics it could be getting getting a better percentage in a particular subject it could be x number of muns that you want to be a participant or maybe a delegate in or maybe even make it to you know you you, you want to be able to make it to uh, uh, being able to represent a number of countries um or a particular country that you want to be able to do that it could be um achieving a particular standard in sports or in music being able to perform at a certain level um in national international anything write it down right write it down for yourself write it down where you can see it write it down in make a poster where write it on a post it whatever it is where you are able to see it every day up after you write down what it is and it reminds you every day what's the goal that you're heading towards you need to write down underneath that how are you going to feel when this happens what's it going to make you feel like and you want to be able to use the words to describe that so use adjectives to be able to describe how are you going to feel and write that down as well underneath that you need to be able to draw like a chart almost little squares where you mark week 1 week 2 week 3 week 4 because and you need to be able to have a timeline to this goal right i want to be able to achieve this by this time we are always able to find more motivation to be able to do things when we set a particular timeline to them it can't be something that will happen some point of time in the future so i write down what my goal is i write down by when i want to get it and be realistic in when i want to be able to get it and then i monitor myself on a weekly basis how far have i got and i break down that bigger goal into smaller goals so if i want to be able to reach here by the end of september what do i need to be able to do starting today and i break it down week wise you want to make two weeks no problem make it two weeks you have to pace yourself this is your goal you need to be able to be comfortable in how you're reaching it and you also need to remember that in case you're not able to reach a milestone on a particular week you don't beat yourself up about it you ensure that you work hard towards getting that so break your milestones down a week two weeks no problem set a timeline for when you want to be able to achieve and enroll a friend or a family member to be your cheerleader somebody who you'll share your achievement with hey i made it this far and they go wow that's awesome super and you're able to have them cheer you on and you stay on track that way so your your entire achievement goals can actually be broken into separate goals that you would like to be able to achieve and you can look at your achievement list like that and say these are the goals i have for myself when it comes to my academics when it comes to my extracurriculars or co-curriculars and you dig deep to be able to find the motivation to do that and when you see it in front of you every day it reminds you that you are working towards something so what you need to be able to remember at the end of it and at the essence of it is what you will achieve and how far you want to go towards it is a choice completely made by you and i am sure each one of you wants to be able to reach at a certain level and be happy about and feel happy about what you're going to be able to achieve so if you break it down and structure it it helps you get the motivation you need i hope this was a little 
bit of a help to you to be able to at least start thinking about structuring. Um, at Mindlow, we're able to give you information and help you work on skills like this to be able to help you structure your goals better, um, as well as information regarding streams, careers, uh, admissions, and we have personalized counseling as well. In case you feel we can help you with any of these areas or you want to reach out to us for information, please visit us at www.mindler.com or email us at hello at mindler.com and we'll be really happy to help you. My name is Shilpa and I hope that I was able to help you today a little bit to be able to find your motivation. I 100% believe you'll be able to get where you need to. All the best.